It's time to go! It's time to go! E, e, e. Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube and welcome back to Tape Unveil the Memories. It's been a month since I played this game. I think in the last video, we found out that our mom has done some shady business to get our dad out of here. She probably killed the man. I don't, I don't know. This is not coming out on Father's Day, but I am recording on Father's Day. So technically, I am playing a game for Father's Day. But it's not coming out on Father's Day. I don't... Alright, so here's where we last left off. We dealt with the, the scary camera monster in like that whole section. There was some puzzles that we had to do. Shit was really annoying. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I didn't quite enjoy that part all too much. Uh, I... I'm my father's little star. All right, I got a star and an easy button. I don't know what either of those do. I do think that I read this already. So if you didn't see the note, uh, go back and watch the last video because my reading skills tank when I play this game. Oh, um, hi. Q? I, I vaguely remember how to play this game. I know that, yeah, that stupid control button is my crouch button. Is this a picture of me? I wonder who they use for um, the pictures in this game. Like, those are obviously real people, but do they use families of people who are related to those making the game? Or do you guys just get, <laughs> do you guys get actors? Black Chili Goat, let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys just get actors for those pictures or are they stock images? Are they, are they your family members? Oh. Hey. Hey. Okay. I'll deal with that in a second. I'm still exploring. It is 12, 12, 12, 12, 10. Why did that take me so long? My brain is fried. Yeah, look at that. That's a real person right there. Either this person is involved with somebody uh, who worked on this game, or you guys got some stock images. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna. I, I'm just. I'm just gonna close this. I'm gonna go back to that other room, see what's going on. I'll deal with this in a second. You hold your horses there, buddy. Speaking of horses. This was a house staff room. And a couple, Sabela and Jacobo, they were good people. Cute. Okay, the TV's broken. Somebody got a little angry at the uh, the sports channel, if you know what I mean. <laughs> eh. Jacobo, the master has requested that we should buy f for tonight. Thick rope. Oh, wait. The master has requested that we should buy. Yeah, I read it right. Shut up, Chris. Thick rope, the kind they use to tie up the lads. Alcohol to cure wounds. He claims it's for cleaning. A pair of gags, tranquilizers, and other medications. Dr. Urbiedos, uh, prescriptions are in his office. Large plastic bags to take them away. You handle the big stuff. I'll go to the pharmacy to get the alcohol and tranquilizers. They have no respect for the house of Don Marian Mariano. Marine Marino. Don Mourinho, <laughs> they were a truly, they were truly a noble family, with all they did for the cult and how they've repaired, how they've repaid them. May the serpe take them. Sabela. All right, they. Can I turn this off? It's kind of annoying me. I didn't want to hear Renaissance music while I was dealing with the she wolf's payment. Once there was a she-wolf, and she had given birth to two little wolf cubs. Every day she hunted something for them, because they were very poor and had no money. First she brought them a turkey, then a hen, thirdly a piglet, and finally a lamb. Intrigued, the young wolves asked the mother, Mum, how do you pay for the food you are bringing us every day? The she-wolf looked at her little ones and said lovely, Little ones. They must be paid all together. I don't get it. 
Mi madre me contaba esta fábula. My mother used to tell me this fable. The she-wolf pays her debt when the hunter kills her. That's not good. That's a sad ending to a fairy tale. I am still very curious as to where this game is going. Because I, I feel like after three or four videos um, of playing this, I, I feel like I should be making some kind of decent progress towards the story. But again, I'm not quite, not quite sure I understand what's really going on here. Oh. Okay. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of all that was. All right, back to the scary, weird warehouse room. Yeah, it looks like if you're upside. Oh, the monster's back. Does he come this way? Oh, he comes this way. Hi. Hi, buddy. You can't get me. Cause you're a bitch. Haha, -ha, you're you're a you're a big dumb bitch! I'm just gonna follow behind him. The worst that can happen is that he wait, how do I Hello? There isn't much room for me to really hide. No, oh, go, 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 idiot! Yeah, there isn't really much room for me to hide unless I can prone underneath one of these beds. Yeah, I'm not quite exactly sure what you want me to do here, game. Will he notice me if I just hide? If I die, you're a bitch. You don't see me. Eh, you don't see me. You don't see me. You definitely don't see me. Okay, so maybe not everything needs to be a locker of some kind. Ah! Ah! Uh, I think I broke him. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, so he's like, he's stuck on a pattern. Oh, never mind. He can still get me. Ah, look at me, my name's Idiot, and I'm dying. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Crouch! He can't get you! He can't capture what he doesn't see. Keep walking. Keep it moving, Busta! Go, 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 go through the door! Go through the door! Haha, <laughs> you're big mad. You're so mad. <sighs> what a bitch. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. Dear Pedro, as we have discussed, I have sent you a selection of cargo that best suits your needs. Nobody is going to miss them. And in the worst case scenario, we can report that they had run away. When you send your boys, remind them to disembark in San, An San, An San Anton and not to go to the main island. I don't want them to be seen by the other kids. I'll see to them crossing the bridge. Dolores Queiroga. Yeah, I think it's so hard for me to really understand the story because I don't know exactly what I'm reading when I read these notes. When you send your boys. Okay. Uh, they kidnapped somebody. It sounds like they're kidnapping a lot of people. This, this sounds like a jail sentence for life. Like, this is eternity. Not even... Somebody with immortality can get out of jail. Very bright light. All right, so now I've got a circle, a triangle, and an easy button. We love that. I don't know what it's doing for me. The Screaming Boarding School. Castle of Anda for women and young ladies is a renowned residence in the region of Burgos in 1912. Erica is a young girl who, after being discovered by her family having relations with her governess, is sent to Castle of Anda. What Eric, what Erica doesn't know is that the strict headmistress of the residence, Lady Tahana, is in charge of re-educating troubled youngsters. Erica does not fit in quickly with her classmates, violent and rude girls, with her classmates, violent and rude girls who take advantage of her. 
But the worst will come when she starts to investigate the past of the residents and the multiple cases of disappearing gir disappeared girls within its walls. I'd watch that movie. Sounds quite interesting. Okay. So now that I have the star and... It's looking a little choppy. Is this... Has it always looked this choppy? All right, whatever. I, I'm just going to assume that it's the game not necessarily playing right with my OBS. Okay, so I got the circle and the star. Hi! Oh, you're a handsome one, ain't ya? You want to turn around now? Thank you. Ah! Go! Go! Ah! Help! All right, we're good. <laughs> we're fine. Ah, big dumb. All right, what am I supposed to do? I swear if it's another situation where like the answer is right in front of me and I just don't see it, I'm gonna flip my shit. Cause there isn't exactly something I can do in all of these rooms. Like I can take time from these paintings. Weird. This door is still locked. Uh, I wish the objectives were a little more obvious. Like, This is a puzzle. This room is a puzzle. These paintings that I can interact with are puzzles. Do you know why they're... Shut up. Shut up. Turn the music off. Stop the shit. Okay. I read the note. I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes. I read the note. The she-wolf brought home the turkey first, then a hen then a piglet, and finally the lamp. Okay, I got rid of the turkey, which I think is what that was. I wasn't necessarily looking at the pictures. I just saw that I could do something with it. This must be the, the she-wolf that died at the end. So that's probably last. What is that? Is that a piglet? That would be third. Okay, so then this is a, a hen. Okay, hang on. Because I may have just figured some shit out. <laughs> Finally, I was sitting around. I was like, what exactly am I supposed to do? I thought that this was all just here for nothing. Like I legit thought that they just kind of put this here for no reason. But no, that wasn't the case. I was just being stupid. And this, this horse, this horse is usually only here if you need to get more time for a puzzle. And I didn't notice that this was a puzzle. Now what? Oh. My goodness. Wow. All right. Jeez. I was about to dog on the game. I like, okay, the objectives aren't too hard to find. I think it's just me who's like, I'm paying attention, but I'm expecting it to kind of like hold my hand. Like I'm expecting the objective to pop up in the corner of it, like, you know, uh, figure out the puzzle in the family room or whatever in the TV room, but it literally kind of just lets you go wherever. I don't know. <laughs> I'm complaining about stuff that's not important. Friere has requested another one of us ceremony, uh, another one of his ceremonies. He doesn't want us to film it on VHS. It's not. It's not only. It's not. Fuck the snuff ones we normally do. Set up the hidden cameras. If you get his face on tape. I'll, if you get his face on tape, I'll take care of taking the money from him. This guy was born in Umbria, but we but he's from Friere, the owner of the steel and textile factory. A fucking crook, a fucking crooked big shot, Pedro Lago. 
All right, so somebody doesn't want their face being recorded. He picked the wrong game to be an antagonist in. Oh, look at that. We need a moon now. To which I assume the moon is going to be in this This room was off limits, I think. What do you mean is off limits? Does that mean something's going to kill us? Is the door going to close behind me and somebody's going to be like, I've been expecting you. Whoa! I'm a vampire! Where's my reflection? The Knight's Service. Maria is the wife of an army general posted in Madrid. Her life is routine and partying until one day she meets Samuel, a former Republican, a former Republican soldier with whom she had a turbulent relationship during the war, who now works as part of the night service at the Palace Hotel, where she is staying. Maria will begin to notice feelings of hate, love, and lust swirling around in her head as she secretly resumes her relationship with Samuel, who is a dominant and aggressive man. When her husband grows increasingly suspicious, Maria will have to decide between turning Samuel in or facing the general's wrath. Whoa. It's a, it's a rom, rom-com. I'm going to call it a rom-com because it's, it's probably funny as fuck that she's trying to hide this. Can we talk about why I don't have a reflection? Oh, the easy button. Now I can use the camera on it. Huh? Oh. Uh, okay. Can I... Can I use my time on something? Oops, sorry. Apologies. Man, how much of my time does it need? Or is that it? Is that all I had to do? No. Pretty sure there was more. Uh, you could have at least given me a rocking chair in this room or something. Good God. Oh, I guess that was it, but like, what did that do for me? Can I kick it in now? Like, what exactly was the purpose? I don't, I I think one of the things about this game is that it's too much of a mystery. Like, I'm not getting any context from anything so far. It's missing pieces. My head hurts when I look at it. Looks like there's some missing pieces. Okay, yeah, I need a star, but like... Or not a star, a moon. What the hell am I supposed to do? Are you guys enjoying this? I think I am, but I, I truthfully don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Am I being too judgy about this game? Like, I've made it this far. I'm obviously not going to stop playing. Because... It's a good game when it wants to be. Okay, so what the hell did that do for me? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh... I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. A bed? No. Lights? Is Johnny Sins gonna come see me? That's actually wild. That's why I didn't have a reflection, because it's not a mirror. But why? I'm like, I'm so struck right now. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Oh shit. <laughs> Just... Oh, that's clever. See, I think, I think my problem is I don't, I, I don't notice things. This game, for some reason, this game is so different from every other game I've ever played. 
and it's it's just fucking with me. It's trippy. And I, I don't know how to feel about it. Like it's good in the right ways, but it's it's bad in in the right ways kind of as well. I don't know. I don't know how to explain myself. Oh, I'm upstairs now. Yeah, because that's where oh that's cool. I wish I knew what was going on. There's a horse here. Which means that we have a puzzle coming up, guys. Oh. I don't exactly like this room. I don't think I like that room. Oh. Oh. It's the missing pieces. It's missing pieces. Yeah, her entire heart is exposed. Mine too, girl. Mine too. Dad makes movies. <laughs> what kind of movies? I've made that joke too many times playing this game. It's not funny anymore. Two, three, seven. It looks like it's close. There's strange markings on the door. Two, thirty-seven. Uh, remember that. I'm going to be quizzing you guys. Two, thirty-seven. Is that the elevator from The Shining? Two, thirty-seven. It's locked. Hell yeah, it is. Is this one also locked? It's not shit there's too many places to go whoa all right listen i'm gonna need you to just like chill out for five seconds because you don't need to pop up in every room that i visit i think at some point the the antagonist gets a little a little annoying he just pops up every now and then all right that doesn't work that doesn't work that doesn't work that doesn't work Cool. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. I'm figuring that out as I go. That's also not gonna work because that's right there. What the hell? I'll put you back together, lady. What? You've got to be kidding me! There's no way. <sighs> this puzzle is a whole shebang and a half. You've got to be fucking with me. Okay, that doesn't move there. That doesn't move there because... <laughs> Listen! I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through the theatrics. Oh my god. Okay, I think I got it now. But I'm running out of film. Oh I'm good! Damn I'm good! Oh, that took forever. Ew. It's warm? What do you mean it's warm? Why is it raining in here? What's going on anymore? Why is the heart warm? Why is it warm? Is it still missing pieces? Ah, of course it is. 237. Do you remember that? 237. Two, why was it warm? Alright, what's your pattern looking like? Oh, the chair's in my way. Ah! No! Wait! No! No! I was inspecting! I was checking out my surroundings! I was looking both ways before I crossed the street. That's what they tell you to do. That's being a responsible adult. Why am I floating? Oh, okay. Bro, how? Literally how? I was hiding behind a couch. 
he actually couldn't see me. Whereas in the other room where I literally just hid in between two beds, he was completely oblivious to the fact that I was there. Make that make sense. <laughs> I, I'm starting to get frustrated like when I was playing uh, Security Breach. You guys remember when I was playing Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach and I never finished it because I wasn't having fun? Because the game was too broken and stressful? This game's not broken, but it sure as hell ain't mathin'. The math ain't math. You bitch! You bitch! The math ain't mathin'. Don't turn around. Do not turn around. Like, that, that doesn't make sense. Wait, what? Oh, better crouch. Uh, is this the statue's booby? What kind of pervert would have something like this? It looks like a piece of something bigger. <laughs> Yeah, it is a piece of something bigger. A bigger bust. A ah, yuck! A ah, yuck! Uh, that's not funny. Just go for it. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. He can't get me once we're through the door. Once we're through the door! Ah! Nailed it. Now let's go put this booby back on the bust. Yeah. Don't grab yourself like that. I'm all for self-love. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh my God, whoa! We're back in the, wait, guys, guys, this is our bedroom. We're back in our bedroom, like from the beginning of the game. Holy shit, two, three, seven. Oh wait, is this how we started the game? Cause I know in the demo, I know in the demo that I first played, this is where we start in the in the beginning of the game. I can't remember if we were here in the, like in the beginning of the full game. Oh. Regional Hospital of Antumbria, November 27th, 24th, 1990. Patient Idia Vega. Oh, that's me. That's me. I'm Idia Vega. Observations. The patient's mother points out the girl have points out the girl has selective memory. Previously, she had suffered of several weeks of aggressive behavior and mute mutism that ended thanks to the intake of sedatives, according to the doctor's orders. Uh, at first, the patient was sent to the specialist for a psychological evaluation. Actually, the kid doesn't have any aggressiveness and is friendly. The note continues, but it's illegible. I don't. This is from when I was 10 years old. All right, 237 is written here again, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh. Oh, I need more film. I need more film. Ow. That shit sounded like it really hurt. Yeah, this game is kind of trippy. Don't jump scare me. Hmm. Hmm. Another puzzle of sorts. <sighs> if it's anything like the last puzzle, all the pieces aren't going to be able to fit right away. That's a head. Why does it need to go up so high? You're just wasting film for no reason. See, it doesn't need to flip like that. You're just wasting my film. <laughs> what? What? Oh, huh? What? Oh, um... I guess the mother needs a head before it can hold a baby, I guess. Right? Yeah, okay.
you don't need to do all the flips and acrobatics. Oh. The door is unlocked again. It sounds like somebody is whispering my name. Uh, why am I going downstairs? Why are we going downstairs? Mm. 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 It's time to go! It's time to go! E! 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 <laughs> what? I'm back here again. 237. Oh, we put that on the door! Oh, hell yeah. I'm so big brain. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Two, three, seven. This is probably my parents' room, right? See, I'm piecing it together. I was talking shit earlier, but that's only because I didn't really know what was going on. And I still don't, but at least I know a little better about what might be going on. That is a lot of reading. The Howl 3, Anx Vega, Scene 8, Day, Inside the University Library. Quan is studying with when Blanca drops a huge book in front of him. Juan, fuck Blanca, whispers ap whispering afterwards. What the fuck is wrong with you? Blanca, it's not the first time it has happened. And the Dean knows it. 15 years ago, another girl was eaten in the gardens behind the medical school. Juan, and they already said it was, rab it was a rabid dog. They caught it the other day. Luis saw it being taken away. Blanca, Luis, the Dean's nephew? Have you listened to anything I just told you? Luis. Blanca, you're being paranoid. I mean it. Val Valeria was our friend, but you have to stop this witch hunt. Blanca, picking up the book. You're an asshole. If you cared even a little about Valeria, you'd do something. Juan, taking Blanca by the arm. Blanca, I know you've had a bad time, but you're starting to sound like your mother. And look how it ended. Blanca. Or, Blanca! Bl no, that was the... They need to put that in parentheses. Blanca throws the book in his face. Luis falls to the ground. Juan, good, good. So go on with your crazy stuff, Valeria. Uh, crazy stuff, Valeria, the werewolves and the conspiracies. You're crazy. Blanca turns his back on Juan to leave. You just got his Blanca. Blanca's a he. What? I thought. Okay, I was reading Blanca in a like a a a girly like a girly tone because I thought Blanca was a girl, but it turns out that Blanca's a he? <sighs> um, night interior basement of Mariano's manor. Jimenez's death. Pedro Lago. Go, Anxio. Anxio. It's your turn. Do it for fuck's sake. Alright, somebody was getting their shit rocked. Somebody came up behind them. Uh, gave this man a stick. He didn't know exactly what to do with the stick, and so he tells him to go, and he starts wailing on him with the stick, and now the stick's all bloody. Nailed it. So, Anxinho. Would that happen to be Anxo? Anxinho, it's your turn. Pedro Lago. Anton, I mean, it's okay. I don't think that... Storyboards and notes are the best way to tell a story. That might just be me. The 23rd is key to the operation. It's the first time that we have so many big names together, and in the middle of July, we are going to have a field day blackmailing these ones. Ricardo will meet with the headmistress of the orphanage, Dolores, the, to pick up the kids. You will have to host all. You will be the host as always. These, this are, these are the names of the key guests. And my camera died. These are the names of the key the key guests. Dr. Blas Novo, uh, Virgo's Hospital Director, Sarah Monte Monteo, uh, Nor TV Head Director. She was the one who gives us the warning about the journalist. You remember? Ignacio Riccio, the owner of the Toretta 
construction company. Julian Fabris. This one is from the Popular Council. Commissioner Alvaro Ferra. I don't want you guys to say that you would be able to read this faster than me because I guarantee you wouldn't know how to pronounce half of these names. The police chief, Father Bermio, the priest who used to run the uh, Antumbria's church. Now he wants to be a bishop. You already know him. Uh, oh, Frere. You already know him, but we don't have any good, any good take of him. He's the one paying the party and will do the honors. Test the lights and hide the camera as well. For your family, film their faces. Friere the, Friere the most. All right, so what exactly am I supposed to be uh, supposed to be gathering from all this? Is this my diary? It's my mother's diary. I can't read it. Why not? She's dead. Either that or she's going to die. July 23rd, 1990, the seed of life. This is my last page. I don't know if I have succeeded, but I hope that my will, Idia, if you read this, I hope you well. If it, oh, because it's smudged out on the actual page. <clears throat> I don't deserve to be loved, but I hope I did the right thing. Whoever reads this, hand over this diary as my com com confession to the police. Angso Vega, my husband, has been working with the Lago family and the director of the orphanage on the coast to hand she over to pe people who pay to torture, abuse, and kill them in the basement of my house. My husband secretly tapes them and the mafia extorts uh, even more money from them. I can't go on living this nightmare. Today after dinner, when Angso comes down to prepare the basement for tonight's party, I will run away with my... So have some money inside the staircase leading to the basement enough so that by the time you read this, we will be far away. I hope you will forgive me for taking action sooner. All right. I can't believe my father did these things. I, my mother, I don't remember anything. Oh, we're in a bathroom now. Grab the key. Grab the key and get the hell out of here. It's the key from my father's office on the first floor. Oh, don't jump scare me. I wasn't even allowed to go near the door. Okay. Alright, now we can finally go back downstairs. I was wondering how long it was going to take before we could actually get to that door. Interesting. So our mother didn't kill our dad. I don't think. I think it was all kind of just a misunderstanding. Maybe. Maybe our dad's the bad guy. Or maybe he was forced. Maybe this was extortion. Alright. Let's see what's inside. I don't know how far I am from completing this game. That is so much reading. I'm not... I, I'll let you guys read it, but I'm not. That's... There. Go ahead and pause the video. I'm not reading that. Turn that sad shit off. It's ironic that silence is necessary in order to appreciate the music. Is that an achievement? Oh. No, thank you. Oh, this is Anxo Vega. Anxo, we screwed up. We screwed real good, Anxio. They caught us. They were everywhere and... Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ricardo, relax. I'm not understanding a single word you just said. What the fuck happened? Damn, Anxio. They jumped out of nowhere. A police cut us. A police car cut us. The cops... Before I could realize what was happening, Satar... Satwar start shooting the pigs and... And... I think they killed him. Damn, they killed him. I ran into the woods and hide. Ricardo, Ricardo, don't fuck with me. And the cargo? Ain't so. Fuck, they almost killed me. Well, don't play with me. Where the, where are the fucking kids? If the party starts and we don't have the kids, they're going to kill us. They already paid. Keep your mouth shut or I shoot you myself. Where the fuck is Lago? Dad? I don't have news for La from Lago. Damn it, damn it, the kids. 
It must be with the police right now. I'm sorry, I have to run. Fuck. Fuck my fucking life. And now what? Damn. You ain't gotta swear so much. Dad, this cannot be true. But I think it is, Idia. I think our dad's the bad guy. Oh! Um. Can I just get past you guys? I cannot get past you guys. Okay. Definitely not creepy at all. Oh, now the rubble's gone. Hey, how you guys doing? Everybody doing good? That's good. I'm glad we're all having a good night. Glad we're all having a wonderful time. Glad we're all having a fantastic day. Oh, I can't go back. I don't remember this hallway. Uh... Can we cut the laughing, please? Yeah, shut the fuck up. We're in a movie theater. Come on, don't you have any respect? Ah, kids. I swear. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for coming today. I would like to inform you that I have no idea what's going on in this game. I am just a humble YouTuber um, who wants to make some decent content. And I thank you all for coming today. Okay, fuck me. <laughs> Is this going to play the Wall Rider video? Am I going to end up seeing the Wall Rider? Let me get a front row. Oh, yeah. Let me get a front row seat. Hang on. Don't start playing yet. Idia, my little star, I knew you would make it. Sit down and let the film begin. I like the back row. Tom my mom's diary, is it? She, is it true? Idia. Idia. Oh. Didn't you understand anything? Didn't you see what she had done to you? Or done to us? I had brought you to our home. I've arranged everything. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? You're just like your mother. Your mother? What have you done to her? Lydia, I'm the victim here. I just wanted to protect us. All I have done. I hope you will be able to see it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh... Uh, hang on, uh, I feel like I should be running from something. I'm back in an elevator again. This is, this is kind of how we started the game. So if we end the game in an elevator as we started the game in an elevator, that's a little poetic. Usually it wasn't so difficult. He was the short fuse type, but he, what we made. Whoa. We're getting into some seancey shit here. Whoa. Uh, I think this is a good place to stop. Um Yeah, I I think <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. So, now I don't know what to believe. In the last video it seemed like our mom was the one who called the hit on our dad. In this video, it seems like dad's the, uh, the, the bad guy here. Yeah. As a child who doesn't remember anything, um, Idia is gonna go into the rest of her adult life pretty fucked up, not gonna lie to you. Damn, I truly don't know who to believe. Like, and what's the point of the, the film monster? Like, what's going on with that? I, uh, uh. I'm gonna get out of here. I have no words left to say. We're just gonna have to see what's going on with the rest of this game. I don't know when I'll play this again. I I have no set schedule. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy and big buddy out. The glare washes me out so bad. Like you can't even see my face.